Hi guys and ladies, you might know I'm on this weird low carb diet and I really miss eating a sandwich now and then. You know, but bread is taboo and I especially miss a breaded fish sandwich. <laughs> so let's see if I can easily overcome all these apparent obstacles. But first, as always, let's get some fish. <laughs> I'm going for any species of fish I can catch. With sandwiches, you don't need so much fish because of all the bread and condiments. So let's start out with this. It's an orange and green marabou jig and it's made by Big Mike 315. This thing only weighs 1 48th of an ounce. I hope I can cast it, especially in this wind. <laughs> Fishing conditions are poor. The water stained. It's too warm for early fall. What I did was I tipped the jig. I put a mealworm on the end of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of small but edible, and that's what I'm looking for. We're making sandwiches, remember? That's a better one. Ooh, I like it. Yep. That's good sandwich material. Yeah. Little guy. No, not little. Oh, oh, he's bigger than I thought. I like it. Oh, it's nice. Colorful, orange. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, that's so big. Look how beautiful it is. I, oh, it's, it's almost breaks my heart to take them, but I'm hungry. Look at that, orange, yellow, eight and seven eighths inches, nice. You know, Big Mike's hooks have a little different shape to them, and they seem to slide into the bluegill's mouth, and they always stay hooked. I never lose one on Mike's. Good job, Mike. Thought I felt something. Perfect size. Nice. That's the seventh fish. That's 14 fillets. That's going to put us, well, about a pound of fillets at least. Let's go back in. Here it is the next day. I've got over a pound of bluegill fillets here. Uh, wait, here's something else. I've got a loaf of bread. It's low-carb bread I bought online. I've never tried this before. I'm going to use it in two different ways. First, I'm going to try making breadcrumbs, and second, as a sandwich bread itself. Let's toast up a few slices and see what happens. lemon pepper. I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in here. I'm putting in a half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. 
Now I'm putting in a half teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of onion powder. I'm going to break six eggs into this bowl. Now I'm going to whisk it. It's a lot of eggs. So we've seasoned our breadcrumbs a little, but now we're really going to season this egg wash. Here's a tablespoon of garlic powder and about the same of onion powder. Oh, well. Guess I better buy more. I'm just going to add one more egg, seven eggs. I don't want to be short. The recipe doesn't say how much oil to put in a skillet. So I'm going to wing it my old way. I've got here uh, one stick of butter and I'm going to put about an equal amount of uh, cooking oil. We're going to do a little production line. I put gloves on because it's kind of icky. First in the egg wash. And that's how we're going to do it. Excellent. I'll just put these aside now and get that oil going. Okay, this is it. Let's start frying. I want to go two minutes or so on each side. God, look at that. <laughs> Where am I going to put them? I'm going to start turning them already. It's been about two minutes. I always say two and a half on one side, one and a half on the other. I don't know why. Oh. It's been four minutes. Let's get them out. These look great. I'm just going to keep them warm in the oven now. Now I'm supposed to butter some bread and put it in the broiler. But I have a toaster oven like Toss Tin Man. Why don't I just use that? So I'll start off with these four and then do another four. While our bread is toasting, I have to tell you that famous celebrity food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks herself has accepted my invitation for fried bluegill sandwiches tonight. But our relationship doesn't seem to progress to that next level. You know, it's been 50 years stalled. I can't seem to get up the nerve to start a conversation about, well, marriage or even weddings. I wish there was something I could do to at least start the discussion. Oh well. Well, here we are again with the famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner. And what did you think about my, uh, my uh, bluegill sandwiches? They were excellent, and, and they deserve a very good review, too. Oh, yes. thank, oh thank you You're from welcome. the food critic. Yes. Wow, wow. And, and the breading, and oh. the bread itself? Yes, as you know, I'm as I, we talked about, I'm going to get the bread for my breakfast in the morning. Yeah, it yes. was good. It yes. was very good. Uh, and the fish, of course, was good. I oh, liked it. It was, it. It was one of the best Excellent. sandwiches yes. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've ever had. Uh, you, you know, uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can see uh, Lulu by oh. now. Yes. I, I have uh, something here that I'd like you to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother wore this in 1935. Uh, let me put it on you here. Oh, does it make you think of anything? Uh, I don't know. Uh, a goofy gag for your YouTube videos? Oh, uh, can, can I have a hug? Mm -hmm.